Conquering Clarity, Unraveling the Mystery of Correcting Passive Voice Misuse. Hello language learners. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that can cause confusion for many English learners. We'll focus on maintaining clarity and meaning while correcting passive voice misuse. Passive voice can be quite tricky, but with some practice and understanding, you'll be able to spot it and correct it without losing the original meaning of your sentences. Before we dive into correcting misuse, let's remind ourselves what passive voice is. In a passive voice sentence, the subject receives the action of the verb. Here's an example. The cake was eaten by John. Here, the cake is the subject, and it is receiving the action, was eaten. In contrast, the active voice would say, John ate the cake. Passive voice is not grammatically incorrect, but it's often overused, which can lead to confusion or unclear statements. A common misuse of passive voice is using it when the doer of the action is important. For instance, mistakes were made, is less clear and informative than, the team made mistakes. When correcting passive voice misuse, it's crucial to maintain the original meaning of the sentence. To do this, first identify who or what is performing the action. In our previous example, the team was the performer. So, instead of saying, mistakes were made, we can say, the team made mistakes. Here are some steps you can follow. 1. Identify the passive voice. Look for the be verb followed by a past participle verb form. 2. Find the actor. Ask yourself who or what is performing the action. 3. Rewrite the sentence. Put the actor before the action. Now, let's do some practice. Passive. The door was opened by Jane. Active. Jane opened the door. Notice how the sentence's meaning remains the same, but the active voice is more direct and engaging? Understanding and correcting passive voice misuse can greatly enhance your clarity in English. Remember, it's not about avoiding passive voice completely. It's about using it when it's appropriate. Keep practicing, and soon enough, Spotting and correcting passive voice misuse will become second nature to you. Hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more tips on improving your English language skills. Happy learning!